So I'm going to go ahead and get some of these rods and reels ready. My brother is going to come out and fish with me. We're going to just target some of the larger bluegills and see if they want to come out and enjoy this fun February day. So let's get to work. What in the heck? What in the heck? What the frick? Lord, I got a big old mess, y'all. That's usually how it goes around here. There's literally line coming from every direction. Get some line, get some fresh line on these reels. Cause big time bluegill season is a coming. So we're gonna keep throwing what I've been throwing the last couple of weeks. And I've gone between two actually. I've gone between that little bitty piece of jaw tech um, on a long shank hook or the Stanley Jigs Ribbit Runt. Just because I like the little bit of action that that Ribbit Runt gives with its paddle feet, it's just enough to sort of stir the bluegills, but it's not too much to spook them, if that makes sense. Because our water temps are still in the low 50s, and we're going to have a couple of options for throwing those today. So, long shank hook see it love it tell your friends about it um this is a size two on this long shank hook and it actually helps prevent the bluegill from gut hooking um i will bend the barb down just a little bit on it sometimes i forget to do that so you'll see some videos where i where i haven't bent the barb but i really do try to bend the barb down on it that just really helps release a healthier fish so that's what we're gonna do that is the way to go and really, I'm just tying a very simple, I'm about to lose all my hooks. Probably gonna lose my camera here in a minute because the wind just decided to show all the way up. That's rod number two down. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what we pulled, let's see what we pulled out of the garage. This is my dad's. What is this? Um, Sam's super sensitive. jig pole this looks interesting we're gonna give this a go oh th look at this this is super super flexy can y'all see that flex or am i missing the camera i want y'all to see the bend on this rod can y'all see that look at that rod <gasps> can you imagine a three pound bluegill on this well you better because that's what we're going to try to get and we're also going to bring back something else I've been kind of keeping from y'all. We're going to bring back an old school way of fishing. Should I get it and show you? I think I should. I saw this cane pole. Can you see it? Can you dig it? We're, we're going to fish it today. Let's just see. Um, so I'm on tied up. I'm going to put something on it. And we're going to see if we can catch a giant bluegill on this cane pole. Y'all ready? Let's go. You know what time it is. You be knowing what time it is when you see this. Everybody who's anybody knows when this comes out, it's time to go. We're gonna put this worm on this hook. They gonna hammer the fire out of this. All right, here we go. Look at there. Cane pole Damn, and a bobber. We'll take it oh, all day long, Wait. all day long. <laughs> How wild is that? Big old male just bit. Night crawler on a cane pole. Woo, son. Talk about fun. Let's get this fish released. We'll take it. What a giant. What a giant. Look at that copper nose. I'm about to lose the rod in the water. 
Check out that fish. Mouthful of night crawler. Blazing my cane pole here. So what you came for? Two. I'll try to catch another one. It's really hard to beat dirt. God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. Dirt is good for you. Dirt is good for you. Look at the belly on this crappie. And now we wait. Now we see if something wants to eat. It should be illegal to have this much fun. On a cane pole. Slab. We'll take it. Come out from around that dock, sir. Hard to beat fishing with a cane pole. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Look at the cane pole. This is a giant bluegill. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Not a bad cane pole fish. All right guys, me and my 17 foot cane pole here. We're gonna call it a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. Please smash that subscribe button. Leave me questions. Leave me comments. I might just come on here and answer them for you. See ya.